Hi, uh, I am D.A. Thakur and today I'll be uh, demonstrating my Python implementation of Batcher Banyan Network. So what I'll do is first I'll go through the uh, Batcher Banyan Network, how it is implement, uh, how it is uh, done in theory and then I'll go, th go through the code. Right? So this is the network that I created for 16, this is a 16 cross 16 Banyan Network in whole. But let us go in. Uh, let us see the eight cross eight banner network, the block one here. So if we see this block, there are uh, three uh, columns for B, C, and D. B one, B two, B three, B four in the first column, and like this. So each each block, this B one block, will have two will be uh, two cross two banner network in itself. So this basically constitutes a eight cross eight banner network combined. To make it to scale it to the 16 cross 16 network, uh, what we have done is that 8 cross 8 is we have taken similar block 2 below just below that. So uh, two blocks combined 8 cross 8 1 and 8, 8 cross 8 2. And we have added a second layer, second uh, another column which uh, which is uh, with eight uh, different switches and this whole constitutes. So let me. Uh, just so you hear that. So this is basically a Banyan network, all of it. Uh, this is a Banyan network. And the rest of the network, which is this. Uh, sorry for this, uh, my drawing skills. So, this, uh, so the rest of this is a batcher sorter, which sorts the, the first the batcher sorter will sort the number and assign and write port for the right port. And so its output will be a uh, input to the Banyan network. So the batcher sorter will sort the number and, uh, and give it to the Banyan network, and it will uh, use the it will uh, find the path to the uh, correct destination port. So this is how batcher Banyan network works. Uh, what now I'll do is I'll go through the code. So this is the code Python implementation. Uh, when I run this file, the, the main function will be called and the execution will start from here. How many number of inputs? So this will ask for the number of inputs. The number of inputs can be for a 16 cross 16 network, it can be from 0 to 15. You can enter any number from 0 to 15. And based on that, uh, and the random.sample function here will create a uh, random numbers, a random list of n of size n with integers ranging from 0 to 15. So this will be the list of random numbers. So these random numbers will be passed to the batcher sort and batcher sort will uh, sort the array random numbers and it will give an output in inputs. Uh, so it, because input, because it will be input to the panel network. Uh, now we will loop through, uh, loop through all the number of inputs in the array. Uh, each and every number each and every uh, random number generated will convert, convert it to the binary number and it will be passed to the Banyan network function. The Banyan network function will take a first as the out input port from where the number is entered and the, and the actual binary number, the desired binary output port we want to, uh, we want to go to. So this is basically that. So, so the, uh, now I'll go to the batcher sort uh, function first. How Batcher algorithm is implemented, and then I'll go to the Banyan network. So uh, this this part uh, implements the Batcher sort. So this is simply printing the random numbers, uh, and after sorting, uh, this is sorting the random numbers, and after printing the random numbers after sorting. So this, uh, and this basically uh, maps each and every number that is that is random number that is generated to the right port of the binary network. So if it is a five, it must go to the A6. And so this is basically do, doing this main sorting, batcher sort. And this will uh, be, a, this will be served as an input to the binary network. So this is how uh, so batcher sort works. For binary network, so this is basically st uh, in, uh, take start and value as two parameters. Start will be the input port where to start from value will be a uh, binary number where the, the destination port where we go to, want to go to. Switch one, switch two, switch three, switch four. This basically represents a single column in itself. So switch one is 
column A, switch two is column B, switch three is column C, and switch four is column D here. So, uh, so a start will be from any of this. So, if uh, when we start, it should be from any of this block from A column. So, when we start, it will be from one of this uh, value, and based on the first based on the each digit of the value we will if it it can be zero or one so if it is zero we will go from a1 to b1 if it is one it will be go for, it will go from a1 to b5 so here if we a1 if it is zero we will go from a1 to b1 this and if we, it is one we will go from a1 to b5 similarly for a2 we go if it is zero we will go to b2 we will go to one sorry if it is one we will go to b6 so for a2 if it is 0 we'll go to b2 otherwise if it is 1 we'll go to j6 so this is how basically this is the network mapping which is done in all all of the four switches and finally we'll have the output port where we want to go to so these are the dictionary mappings now when the code when the execution will reach uh, in this when this fun function will be called first of all it will check if the value is a four bit uh, Four, bin four digit binary number because if we, we are considering a 16 cross 16 network so that will, it, the number must be four digit binary network binary number otherwise it will throw an error if it if the start the input port is not in switch one then again it will throw an error it should be from the, any of the a blocks uh, network here is basically consisting of all these switches combined in a list so the network is a uh, the, all of this network combined the 16 plus 16 binary network what we'll do is we'll go through all of the four uh, enumerate through value so value is again a four digit binary number so index will provide the index of the where where are we where we are of out of the four digit and where will val will be the value of the digit it can be zero or one network we'll go to index index is uh indexes are uh, current current so we'll pass through we'll go from a to output the first uh, will be at index will be zero and then it will be one it will be two it will be three and the final index will get the output so let us say it is zero for now output is the uh, out is here is the start the input port so it can be a1 b1 a1 a2 a3 like to up till eight uh, for input value it can be from zero it can be zero or one so based on the that we will get an a1 and if it is zero it will be b1 so we will get an output and it will be stored in out so we will be getting out as b1 let us say that will again serve as an input in the second loop so second iteration of the loop it will serve as an input the output of this uh, as an input to the switch two and this will continue up till we we get the final output so this is how and then we will also print the final path so th this is how the uh, python implementation is now let's run the file and check uh, what we get okay so it is asking me how many number of inputs so let us say five so uh, i'll be getting the so this is the input at random number generated random array generated of five size five these are the numbers after sorting it looks like this and for zero the path will be this for one the path will be uh, this so these are the paths that will follow uh, the network will follow so this is how our implementation is done so yeah thank you